Hello from the Big South Network studio. I'm Mark Bryant with another in our series of previews for the 2024-25 Big South basketball season. Very happy to have with me now first year head coach of UNC Asheville's women's team, Tanisha Lewis. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, glad to have you here and, and welcome to the Big South. Yes, welcome to the Big South. But before we get into all the X's and O's of basketball, how is the team doing since the devastation of Hurricane Helene and, and adjusting? And, and maybe how can people help or learn more about what's going on in Asheville? Um, you know, uh, Helene was once in a lifetime event and uh, this group of girls, uh, women, are very resilient, uh, very focused, and they really want to do everything they can to get back to help those in Asheville. Um, the mentally, uh, it's been a tough adjustment. You know, we are creatures of habit, and we sort of kind of got getting relocated and then trying to find locations to practice, but they've been great. They've adjusted, they're practicing well. Uh, they're bonding, not by choice, <laughs> but by force, but it's working out for us. Um, but I, I think the biggest thing, we're not the only team at, at Asheville that's this place. You know, all of our teams are all over. So um, all of us are going through this almost the exact same thing. So that's in, that, that helps us to have perspective. So you're in your first season with Asheville. Prior to the storm, how was the transition going and what challenges did you experience beyond, you know, the natural disaster, which is enough of a challenge in itself? The student athletes have been absolutely great. You know, really embraced change. Um, what, how are we going to do things now? Um, the biggest transition is just you know getting to know the our new kids, and there's so many of them. <laughs> yes. well, how would you? You'll, you'll be new to the to much of the audience. How 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 would you describe your coaching style? What can we expect to see from the team this year and how they play? I'm super intense um, in practice in the game, um, but most of the time during the game, I'm, I'm, I don't do a lot of talking. You know, I'm really focused on my team. I'm, it's kind of weird for most coaches, but I'm sitting, you know. Um, I think, I feel like the you've come to see them and not me, so I want to make sure that they're the marquee when we get out there on the floor. Let's talk about that squad for a moment. Well, who are the, some of the key returning players? What roles do you envision for them this season? Let's see. We have um, Monty that's returning. Um, she's having a pretty good preseason. I'm just trying to make sure we stay healthy. That's the number one thing. Abigail is really working hard, uh, being able to knock down that outside shot um, and being able to rebound well. Uh, let's see, Dakota, she can shoot that ball. I mean, she can knock it down. So making sure she stays confident throughout uh, the year. And then we have Nye, who's just always just the energy we need um, defensively, uh, always going to make the big play and always going to be the talker and the leader on the team. And what new pieces are you adding to that mix? What are the incoming players or transfers that we should know about? Uh, let's see, we have uh, Swift. She's a transfer from, I don't even know where, but she's a transfer that's coming in. Uh, she brings a lot of leadership at, from that point guard position. Uh, there's Sydney. Uh, she is a big body down low. She's just tough, a brute. Um, you run into her, you know you ran into her. Um, let's see, uh, TB and Skyler are the wing players that can shoot the ball. And then also I forgot about uh, Trinity, a uh, returner that she didn't get a lot of time last year, but like defensively, she's just really, really gonna help us. What did you know about Big South basketball in this conference before landing at Asheville, and have you had a chance to learn much about the teams that are ahead of you? Yes, I've, well, that's all of them right yeah. now. <laughs> but um, a very guard-heavy uh, group. They can shoot the ball. Um, what I've noticed, uh, defensively, very good def defensive uh, uh, conference. Uh, but they get up and down the floor, very fluent in their offenses. Um, high point, of course, it's always been good, you know. Um, but like when you go to three, four, five, and six, it's all together. So it could be one or two games that'll separate you. So um, just making sure we do the right things at the right time. What, uh, I mean, so we know what to expect in conference, roughly speaking, but what does your non-conference schedule look like? Who are some of the notable teams that uh, are gonna help you prepare for Big South play? Well, going to North Florida. Um, also, we're going to uh, Virginia Tech. I'm gonna play them. Uh, we also, um, I think we play Furman as well. And so therefore, there's some really good teams that'll prepare us for the Big South. 
Well, Coach, we wish you and all the Bulldogs the best of luck this season, on the court and off. Thank you. And we thank you for watching another edition of our preview series for Big South Basketball 2024-25.